Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at DeWalt's brushless 20 volt hand power planer, model number DCP580B. And the B is for bare tool, as this unit does not come with a battery or charger. This kit is the hand power planer itself, an edge guide, and a plastic blade setting device for when you replace your blades. My first impression of this unit after testing it on some heavy cedar boards is it's very smooth. The adjustment is very smooth. Uh, the performance, it has a lot of power. Um, the, there are some drawbacks to that, and so we'll get into that. But first, let's touch base on the features. Um, I obviously covered what uh, is included with the unit. So with your edge guide, you're able to set the offset um, to be able to control where you're actually planning on your specific board. You can use this to create a rebate or a rabbit uh, utilizing your hand planer. When I received this unit, the hardware to secure the edge guide was missing. I went over to my bolt bin, found the matching threads, and repurposed it for this application. Uh, not a big deal, um, but hopefully when you get yours, your hardware will be included so you don't have to uh, go searching for a replacement. To install it, you simply take it and you push it in on the left-hand side of the unit and then you tighten it in position with that hardware um, in whatever position or location you'd like that edge guide. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory and uh, works very well in keeping the planer where you need it running along that board. This unit has an adjustable knob on front to control the depth of cut. Uh, from all the way from 0 to 5 64ths, um, which is a hair over 1 16th of an inch. Now I did notice that when you get deeper into those, those real heavy cuts, um, it does bog down the unit, but as long as you go slow and don't just jam it into the stock, it handles it just fine. On the top is the trigger mechanism. Uh, the trigger mechanism, it's very ergonomic. There's rubber over mold on the top where your hands go. Um, the trigger cannot be pressed until you hit and push down the button uh, for the safety lock. Once you push that lever down, you're now able to pull the trigger and start the unit. On the back of the unit, there is an Allen key um, that is, uh, has a nice little storage spot for it to remove and replace the blades, which is very handy so you don't have to go looking for one um, on the job site or wherever. Also very handy if you're on the job site, there are two blade storage here on this back knob. You simply turn it counterclockwise and it opens up a storage port so you can store two additional blades. So if you're on the job site or simply in a workshop um, and your blades get dull, you simply know exactly where the two replacement blades are, switch them out with the Allen key and the plastic blade setting device, and then you know that you need to order uh, a couple more blades. When you get them, put them back in that storage deal so it's the next time you need to change your your blades, you have them and you're ready to go. On the back of the unit, on the bottom, is a uh, kind of hook or tool rest to where when you're using the blade or using the planer, um, you can simply just rest it straight down and it's going to prop up the flat bottom so it will not cut into either your workpiece or your workbench or the ground or whatever you set the tool on. I think that's really cool, really ingenious. It also it can lock out of the way, so if you don't want that, um, but I, when I was using it, I would have it loose, um, and then when I would start off the edge of a board, I would, uh, or, or this little hook would get pushed out of the way, and it'd be totally fine. Um, sometimes when I would start in the middle of a board to uh, kind of take out a twist or a cup or whatever, I will push that um, down and lock it out of the way, and then I will push the front of the planer down, and then rock it forward and slowly making contact with the blade. Moving on from the kickstand, on the rear shoe of the plane, you have a nice aluminum uh, sole, which seems to be very flat. And then you get to the two blades on here that are three and one quarter inch wide. That's powered by this brushless motor, which increases uh, battery performance or uh, performance from the battery as well as uh, longer run time. The two blades are a little bit smaller than I'm used to compared to uh, traditional planers. Obviously, this is going to be much, much smaller. Um, this motor is 15,000 RPMs when there's zero load applied. And then this whole unit is 6.8 pounds. So it's decently light, especially if you're going to use this all day. And it's, of course, battery. It's the DeWalt's 20 volt line. Um, so you're going to be able to be mobile on the job site in the workshop. You're not going to be uh, held down by a cord. 
on the front of the shoe, uh, same precision milled uh, aluminum on the front, and then it does have a V-notch for applying chamfers to boards and things like that. Uh, one thing that you should note there is your settings um, are exaggerated. So if you have a 1 16th inch cut in that V-groove, it's actually going to make a significantly larger cut. So uh, I highly recommend doing a test cut before you do chamfers um, and then start it on the lowest setting and then work your way up to uh, what you need. On the side of the unit is a dust port for a shop vac or dust collection unit or extractor. Uh, this does accept the DeWalt uh, airlock system. Um, I connected my uh, dust extractor utilizing uh, Rockler's uh, universal dust hose attachment and uh, that seemed to work just fine. The dust extraction on this unit is very, very important. Um, I noticed that on the smaller, lighter cuts, I had zero issues with dust extraction uh, when I did not have any hose connected to it. But when I got to larger cuts, uh, deeper depths of cuts, um, or particular areas of the board where it would produce really long, skinny shavings, um, I did notice this thing would pack in there. Now, when I did have dust collection hooked up to this unit, I did not have one clog no matter what setting I put it on or what board I ran it through. Um, so uh, when you do use this tool, if you are using deep depth of cut, make sure you have a hose uh, and dust collection system um, attached to the unit so you're able to uh, properly evacuate those uh, chips. There are many applications you can use a hand power planer for, such as trimming doors, scribing cabinets and trim work, rough carpentry, flattening large slabs, and then utilizing this to either build jigs or uh, turn this upside down. I've seen many people turn hand power planers into small joiners themselves. Now you may find that funny, but if someone's um, building very, very small types of furniture, jewelry boxes, things like that, it would be very cumbersome to take those small pieces to a large joiner every time. If you're able to take this thing, mount it in a secure uh, upside down position, and now you're able to run those parts over the joiner, uh, a smaller joiner that is applicable to the size of the parts that you're gonna be using. So that's very nice. What am I gonna use this for in my woodworking shop? I'm not a contractor, I'm not someone on a job site. I am here permanently in my shop. Um, so what this thing is gonna be great for is taking large twists or cups or bows out of boards before I go to uh, my joiner. So I don't have to run them over the joiner maybe 20 times to take those large things out. I can assess the board, I can bring the board to my workbench, I can assess it, I can see, okay, this has a cup or a warp or a twist, and I can mark them with the high spots. I can simply go grab this, grab the battery, plug it in, and then go hit those high spots and get this relatively flat before I head over to the joiner, saving me a bunch of time. Work Now my previous um, hand planer is corded, so I was hampered down by the length of cord and then the location of a power outlet. Being I have a battery unit now um, that doesn't sacrifice any power, I can simply go bring the tool to the workpiece, I can uh, set the workpiece outside, I can do all that without messing with a cord or extension cord or things like that. So I'm definitely excited with that. If you're interested in a hand power planer, um, I definitely would uh, encourage you to check out DeWalt's 20 volt hand power planer. Um, their brushless model DCP580B. Again, this is a bare tool. You will need a battery and charger. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Addict. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I encourage you to follow us on social media as we do project updates and also future tool review updates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.